Huawei's Android alternative exists, slated to be a backup for emergencies. Huawei has shown the world that China can make notable mobile devices adhering to global standards. The Google Nexus 6P in 2015 and the recently unveiled P20 Pro have set new benchmarks in the world of smartphones. However, Huawei, like most manufacturers, is dependent on several third-party suppliers to make its products, be it hardware or software. We know that Huawei relies on its home-brewed Hasilicon chipsets for its entire lineup of smartphones. And now, if reports are to be believed, they might be honing an alternative to Google's Android OS, their own mobile operating system. A South China Morning Post report has claimed that Huawei has been developing a mobile operating system for use in its smartphones. However, the operating system isn't meant to substitute Android on their Huawei or Honor branded phones. Instead, it's mentioned that the new operating system has been forged to keep the company alive in case it has to face a ban that fellow Chinese manufacturers ETE has faced. ZTE has been served a ban from using American products and services on its products following a disagreement between it and the government. Therefore, ZTE faces the probable chance of losing its license to Google's Android as the operating system that runs its lineup of smartphones and tablets. This means that the manufacturer, who introduced a foldable smartphone last year, could be left with no alternative platform or operating system to keep its products running. Huawei, therefore, has kept its backup ready, should it face such worst-case scenarios in the future anytime soon. However, the report mentions that sources close to Huawei's have hinted about the backup OS not on par with Google's Android when it comes to app compatibility and overall user experience quality. Therefore, Huawei hasn't made it public yet. And not only smartphones. The report even mentions the presence of a backup OS for tablets and desktops. Samsung tried something similar with its Thizen OS a few years ago. It was supposed to be an alternative platform to Android and was seen to replace Android from its portfolio in the future. However, the lack of developer support for Tizen has only limited to Samsung's range of smart televisions. While Huawei has cleverly chosen not to put it into the market yet, we expect that they will keep polishing it over the time to make it as powerful to sustain the progress they have made with the help of Android. Android.